What's up everybody, in this video I'm going to discuss the printf statement in Java. Printf is a method used to format output. We already do have a little bit of experience using printf in the last few topics involving math. We'll get more in depth with the printf statement in this topic. Printf is an alternative to print and print line. Wherever we would like to insert a variable, we can add a placeholder of a percent sign, then add one of a few characters, following it to format the output. In this demonstration, let's create a few variables. Let's create a string of name. I'll assign some name. I'll pick SpongeBob because many people know who SpongeBob is. We'll need a character. Let's say character first letter equals S int age equals 30, and a double. Double height equals 60.5, and a boolean. Boolean is employed. I will set that to be true. SpongeBob is employed at the Krusty Krab. So we have some variables. They're all different data types. We can insert them into printf statements when we output a string literal. Here's a demonstration. Instead of using print line, I'm going to use printf. We will display the following. Hello. Then I would like to insert this variable of name. We're going to use a percent sign as a placeholder. Percent. Then we need a specifier character. What is the data type of the variable we're trying to insert? If you're trying to insert a string, you're going to use a lowercase s. So after this word of hello, we're adding a placeholder, then inserting a string at this location. So instead of adding plus the variable name, we're going to comma separate any variables we're inserting. So comma name. Here's the output. Hello, our variable name, which contains SpongeBob. If we need to insert a character, that would be lowercase c. So let's use system.out.printf. I don't know, let's say your name starts with a. We're going to insert a variable. We need a placeholder, that percent sign, lowercase c for a char variable, then comma separate any variables, comma our variable, a first letter. So here's an important thing too. With a printf statement, we have to manually insert any new line characters. We'll end each printf statement with a new line character. So after our format specifier, we'll add backslash n to insert a new line. That's better. Otherwise, the output is going to be all on the same line. So that's how to insert a character. Percent %c for chars. Then for an integer, we use d. So print f, u, r, we're going to insert a variable, we use d for integers, u, r, our variable age, years old, then a new line character, then we will insert our variable age, u, r, 30 years old. And in the middle is our variable of age. For a double, that would be f. System.out.printf. You are at a placeholder, f for floating point number. Think of that as a double. Inches tall, or you can pick centimeters, up to you. Then we will insert our variable of height. You are 60.5, then a bunch of zeros, inches tall. We can limit the amount of digits that are displayed after the decimal. We'll have to set a precision, but I'll explain that later. Then a boolean. All we need is the letter B. System.out.printf let's say employed, add a placeholder, b, then a new line character. We will display our variable of is employed. 
employed, then our variable of true. Now you can insert multiple variables within the same line. Here's how. We'll use system.out.printf. We're going to insert our variable of name, SpongeBob. For a string, the specifier character is going to be lowercase s for a string. So string SpongeBob is, we're inserting an integer. We need percent %d years old. We'll comma separate all variables we're inserting. We have a string followed by an integer. So that would be name, comma, age. We're inserting two variables this time. SpongeBob is 30 years old. So those are specifier characters. Add a percent sign, a placeholder, then follow this placeholder with a specifier character, depending on what the data type is. S for strings, C for chars, D for integers, F for doubles, or other floating point numbers, and B for booleans. It might take a little bit of time to remember these. Now we'll cover precision. With setting the precision, we can limit the amount of digits that display after a decimal. Let's create three different prices, and these will be of the double data type. Price 1 equals 999. Price 2 I'm just making up numbers here, 100.15, and double price 3 equals negative $54.01. We're going to use printf to display these prices. System.out.printf, we're going to insert, we'll use that percent placeholder, then use f to display a double, f for floating point number comma, our variable of price 1. Then we'll do this with price 2 and price 3. Price 1, price 2, price 3. And here are the prices. Oh, and we have to add a new line character too, because they're all in the same line. I forgot to do that. So backslash n, backslash n, backslash n. That's better. Naturally, when we're using printf to display a floating point number, such as a double, normally it displays six digits after the decimal point. But we would like to limit that. Here's how. We're going to set the precision to display one digit after the decimal between the percent sign and the f type 0.1 to display one digit. So we have 10.0. This will automatically round to the output. So we have 10.0, 100.2, and 54.0. For two digits, that would be 0 0.2. 999, 100.15, and negative 54.01. Or we could do three. 0.3f. Then we have three digits after the decimal. So that is precision. It's useful for displaying prices. Then we have flags next. Let's set the precision to be 0.2. Here's different flags that we can add. By adding a plus after the percent sign, we can output a plus for any positive numbers. Positive 999 positive 100.15, 54.01 is still negative. To display a plus before any positive numbers, just add a plus sign. Let's increase these prices. Let's add three zeros to the end of each. If you add the flag of a comma, it's a comma grouping separator for any thousands place. After the percent sign, add a comma. At any thousands place, we have a comma grouping separator. Again, this is useful for displaying prices. By adding a single left parentheses, any negative numbers are enclosed in a set of parentheses. So let's revert these prices back. After the percent sign, add a left parenthesis. 
So we only have one negative price. Negative 54.01. And then we have a space character. This will display a minus if negative, space if positive. We have two positive numbers in one negative one. So by using a space character, any positive numbers are preceded with a space. 54.01 is negative, so we do not have that space. It's good for aligning numbers. The last specifier we have to talk about is width. We're going to create some ID numbers. These will be integers. Int ID 1 equals 1. Int ID 2 equals 23. Int ID 3 equals 456. And int ID 4 equals 7890. These integers have a varying number of digits. 1, 2, 3, 4. By setting the width, we can align them. Here's how. Again, we're going to use printf. We're displaying an integer, so we need percent %d. We will begin by displaying id1. Then let's do this with 2, 3, and 4 as well. 2, 3, 4. And again, I am missing that new line character. New line, new line, new line, new line. That's better. So we have our four IDs. By adding a zero after the percent sign, we can zero pad some of these values. But Java is giving us a warning. By how many characters do we want to pad these numbers with zero? Let's say four. We have one variable that has four digits. We'll set it to be four to be the maximum. So zero, four. And here we are. These ID numbers are all now zero padded. And they align vertically, which is kind of nice. So to add some zero padding, follow our placeholder with zero, then the amount of digits to zero pad, in this case four. By setting a positive number, we can write justify these variables. So let's replace zero with just four. Rather than having that zero padding, we just have some spaces, if you would prefer it that way. Or with the negative number, we can left justify these values. So let's set four to be instead negative four. Now these values are left justified, and we still have those spaces afterwards. Except for the last variable, because it's already four digits. Alright everybody, so that is the printf statement. It's a method used to format output. You add a placeholder, then one of a few characters afterwards. There is flags, width, precision, and specifier characters, depending on the data type of what you want to display. We'll have more practice with this in the future. And well everybody, that is printf in Java.